Now, that shooting is the fourth one involving a security guard in Baltimore, in the Maryland area, since the start of October. Just a couple of days ago, we had a security guard at a giant in Prince George's County died after a shoplifter shot him. That guard returned fire, also killing the shoplifter. And we had a man shot by a security guard last week in southwest Baltimore. That person has died. It happened outside of a Royal Farms on Washington Boulevard on October 30th. Baltimore police say Kanisha Spence ordered Marquise Powell to leave the store several times, and when he returned a third time, she shot him. Spence is facing charges. Then, October 21st, a CVS security guard shot a man who police say came after that guard with a syringe. Police say that, that was after the guard caught the man shoplifting. At last check, the suspect was listed still in critical condition. So let's take a look now in focus look at the regulations surrounding security guards in Maryland as part of our commitment to put the stories in context for you. Current Maryland statutes require security guards to be certified by the Maryland State Police unless the security guard agency has submitted the application and the application has not been rejected or the individual is currently certified by Maryland police as a police officer. MSP was able to tell us that they've issued 12,520 security guard certifications total and that they have 189 applications still under review.